Hello, welcome to the Golden Years channel. Their story was melancholic, but their song has been playing for half a century, and it keeps getting better with each passing day. Let's delve into one of the most famous songs, not only from the 1970s, but also the 1980s, as it surprisingly topped the charts in both decades. Discover which version is the original, and not what you might think. Learn how the song came about, and the fate of the band behind it who recorded the Spanish version and more intriguing details about the story of the song Venus by the band Shocking Blue. Shocking Blue was a group formed in 1967 in the Netherlands. Its founding members included Robbie, who initially served as the lead vocalist. However, he left the band only a year after its formation when he was drafted for military service in mid-1968. The band members were invited to a party in honor of the Dutch hard rock band Golden Earring, where they discovered a beautiful girl who was singing with the band and electrifying the party. This young woman, who was 21 at the time, not only possessed extraordinary beauty and exoticism due to her Hungarian gypsy heritage, but also had a powerful and harmonious voice. Her name was Maria Elizabeth Ender, artistically known as Mariska. The band's manager was captivated by Mariska. He approached her after her performance, and after a long conversation, managed to convince her to join the band. Would you believe me when I tell you you're the king of my... However, Fred, the band's vocalist at the time, was not pleased with this turn of events. The band was initially formed with five members, but when Fred was drafted into the army, he decided to leave the group for good. Mariska eventually became the sole vocalist in 1969, alongside guitarist Robbie. While listening to old records, Robbie stumbled upon a song he liked, Band of Gold, by the American trio The Big Three, consisting of two men and a woman named Ellen Naomi Cohen, who would later become famous as Cass Elliot of the Mamas and Amp, the Papas. Robbie borrowed the melody from the song and wrote new lyrics about Venus, the goddess of love. With this new song, the band achieved worldwide fame in the summer of 1969, the song was initially released in the Netherlands and reached the 13th position on the charts. A few months later, it was released in the United States, debuting at position 77 on the Billboard chart in December 1969. The song quickly climbed the charts and reached the number one spot two months later, on February 7, 1970. Venus also became a hit in nine other countries, topping the charts in Australia, Belgium, Canada, France, Italy, New Zealand, South Africa, Spain, and Switzerland. The group became internationally known, and their song, Venus, remains the most successful and famous song to come out of the Netherlands to this day. However, despite their incredible success, Shocking Blue never managed to release another song that came close to the popularity of Venus. The band had other minor hits, such as Never Marry a Railroad Man in 1970, Blossom Lady in 1971, and Out of Sight, Out of Mind in 1972. Despite selling over 13 million records worldwide and producing high-quality music, the band couldn't avoid a breakdown in 1973. The creator of Venus, Rob Van Leeuwen, frustrated with the band's lack of success, decided to leave the group. The other members attempted to carry on, but just one year later, in 1974, the group disbanded for good. Mariska Veres pursued a solo career and passed away in 2006 at the age of 59 due to cancer. The other members of Shocking Blue embarked on various musical projects over the years, and today, only one member remains alive, the founder and author of their biggest hit. In 1981, 12 years after its original release, the melody of the song Venus once again reached the top of the American charts. This time, it was the opening track of the famous Stars on 45 Medley. A musical project originating from the Netherlands that enjoyed huge success in Europe and America, 
by mixing and reinterpreting songs from the 60s and 70s. This resurgence of popularity for old songs also brought many of these classics back onto the American and British charts. Five years after the success of Stars on 45 and 17 years after its original release, Venus once again topped the global charts when the English girl group Bananarama released their version. Bananarama began their career singing in bars, parties, and discos. During one of their performances, they were discovered by Paul Cook, the drummer of the Sex Pistols, who produced their first single, a Hawaiian version of Ai Amwana, originally performed by Black Blood. After recording their first single with a tropical twist, they decided to name the band Bananarama, combining banana with the title of a Roxy music song they loved, Pajama Rama. Bananarama achieved their first major success in 1982 with a song that reached the fifth spot on the UK charts. In 1983, they reached the fourth spot with Cruel Summer and the fifth spot with Nana Hey Hey Kiss Him Goodbye. In early 1984, their song Cruel Summer, which had reached the fourth spot in the UK, became their first success in the United States and was part of the soundtrack of the movie The Karate Kid. Since the Bananarama girls got together to sing Venus by Shocking Blue, it has become part of their repertoire, although they never are, courted it professionally. In 1986, they decided to include it on their third album, True Confessions, despite initial disagreement from their representatives. Their version of Venus turned out to be a massive success, becoming the most successful song of their careers and one of the iconic songs of the 80s. The song reached the number one spot on the Billboard chart in the United States on September 6, 1986, and also topped the charts in countries like Australia, Finland, New Zealand, Switzerland, and South Africa. It reached the second spot in Germany and entered the top 10 in the UK, Belgium, Canada, France, the Netherlands, Norway, Sweden, and Spain. As we can see, this beautiful song captivated audiences worldwide since its release in 1969. Although the versions by Shocking Blue and Bananarama were the most successful in terms of sales, the song was performed by numerous other artists, including the Welsh singer Tom Jones, the renowned Italian singer Mina, the Latin superstar Jennifer Lopez, and more recently, the Mexican group Las Moscas created a highly popular Spanish adaptation in many Latin American countries. Did you know about this Spanish version? Venus has been used in movies, commercials, advertisements, and TV series over the last 50 years, and its fame shows no signs of waning. By the way, for series enthusiasts, here's a fun fact related to the song. In the successful Netflix miniseries, The Queen's Gambit, the main character, Beth, dances to this song while watching TV in one of the episodes. However, there's a major error here. This scene appears in the sixth episode, but the series is set in 1967, while the song was originally released in 1969. This makes it impossible for this scene to have occurred. Well, folks, that was the story of the song Venus. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let us know in the comments section which version of this song is your favorite. Don't forget to like the video share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time. Wow, she's